Double clicky. Today on Right Now, morning everybody. Don't you hate uncomfortable moments like when you're traveling on the road and forgot your big camera and also don't have your iPhone tripod and so are just gonna hold this phone the whole video? Is it steady? Did you not know I was holding it up until- No, of course you knew I was holding it. But let's talk about uncomfortable moments. They're gonna happen from time to time and you need to be prepared. Prepared? Prepared. I wasn't uncomfortable just then, were you? No, I wasn't. My arm is so tired already. Anyway, I decided to share with you guys some uncomfortable moments and ways you can survive them via your feet. Uncomfortable moment number one, surviving a job interview. Personally, I think these shoes will help you get through a job interview because they're professional on the top and fun on the bottom. Saying yes, I am both capable and organized, but also I'm totally rad and have a wicked cool personality. What flag is that? Flags that are yellow and green. You can tell I'm not really typing. The answer is no flag. The next situation that can make you uncomfortable is a first date. What shoe should you wear on a first date? Who I, this one. This shoe has red, which is like the color of love, but also it has fancy stars on the inside that show you're a star performer and aeration holes for when your feet start to super nervously sweat. Nothing says love like palpitations and perspiration. Uncomfortable moment number three. This shoe is perfect. Hmm. The uncomfortable moment when you're like, I never thought I'd do a pointed toe on such a casual shoe, but at the same time, I feel like some sort of organic elfin god, and I love it. The uncomfortable moment when you anticipated being uncomfortable, but frankly you weren't. The next uncomfortable situation is a dinner party of people with differing political beliefs. It's sensible and practical enough that people will be like, ah, oh, that seems like a sensible and practical person. But then look, but look at this casual cross stitch that points to the fact that you understand the structure of how a shoe is made, much like you understand the structure of our government and the political systems in place that belie its ability to affect change. <sighs> what a cool shoe. Last but not least, that uncomfortable moment when a friend of yours totally steals your favorite karaoke song even though you queued it up for yourself and they just went up and sang it anyway. This shoe says I'm feeling a myriad of emotions, but I'm completely comfortable slipping on out of here. Just kidding, that's no way to confront people. Don't just leave. Just, you know, calm down first and then confront them. Also, I have had the most amazing birthday and the best tour. And thank you so much, Denver, for all of your awesomeness and this super sweet sweatshirt because now I am ready to celebrate Christmas. Uh, but first, lots and lots of turkey. Anyway, uh, speaking of turkeys, also gifting, the good people over at Sanook are doing a giveaway. All you have to do is share your uncomfortable moment and how you coped with it using the hashtag WeHeartSanook, and 20 people will get a promo code that you're able to redeem for a free pair of shoes online or in a store. Anyway, I'm gonna go, um, I'm just gonna go look at myself in the sweater some more, so. Have a great night, guys.